I think most countries these days believe that economic growth comes from innovation, innovative companies, new industries. We're seeing a lot of change around the globe. Well, the Bank Inter Foundation is in three different areas. One is the, the best known area, which is the Future Trends Forum, FTF, where we discuss, we're going to discuss soon uh, cybersecurity, we've discussed nanotechnology, we've discussed uh, you know, new medical treatments. We, we're, we're on the sort of the frontier of new developments that may be of interest to, to the business world. That's one area. A second area, very important, is academia. Uh, academia is where we teach different university students uh, the new developments, the new innovations, what we've learned in the future transform. We transmit that to uh, students. And the third area is our investment area. We are investing small amounts of money in different startups, giving them seed money to grow. These are Spanish startups. Well, we're, we're in a global market right now, so uh, it, it's very important that anybody who's a leader has a, has a global sense of, of, of what's going on and understands to be a leader, you have to understand all the latest trends and developments, and you look around us and what, you know, the new businesses that are emerging, the whole digital economy is new, uh, the whole idea of ecology and the environment is new. So there's a lot of new areas where people can, can innovate. Ah, well, entrepreneurs are the key to develop a, an economy and, and they have to innovate uh, in new areas to grow a country's economy. And then right now, the most innovative countries in the latest study I saw, number one was Switzerland again. So Switzerland, Switzerland is not just watches and chocolate. Uh, second is United Kingdom, third is Sweden. The Nordic countries are very strong. Fourth is Finland, fifth is Netherlands. And the United States, which a lot of people think is first because of Silicon Valley, is actually number six. Singapore comes right after that, and then Denmark, Luxembourg, and number 10 is Hong Kong. All companies to survive must grow. That's the, uh, you know, I, I've, been, I've been running com companies for 40 years, and every year they demand, the owners demand growth. Because if you don't grow, after a few years, you disappear from the landscape. Uh, it's an obligation of all companies to keep growing, no matter what. I mean, we've had a very tough uh, five years here since 2008 with the crisis. Some companies have not grown in that period. But over a 10-year, 20-year period, you have to grow. Otherwise, other people will take your place. This is a very globalized economy right now.